Hey everybody, this is my 1997 Ford F-350 XLT. Uh, it's a dually two-wheel drive, and the engine is the 460 gas engine. It's not the diesel, it's the 460 gas. And I bought it because my mechanic said I've always had diesels, and um, this is my truck that I just bought. He says, and diesels keep breaking down a lot, he goes, well, you should buy a 460 gas truck. They're easy to work on. So I went ahead and bought this about four years ago. My wife calls it Pearl, and now I'm ready to sell it because I bought that and don't need a backup truck anymore. So I'm just going to go through um, what it is. Paint's in really good shape for a 1997. My wife calls it Pearl again. It's got dual tanks, front and rear. I just got tires. So they're like brand new tires. Um, uh, on this truck, I lent it to a friend and they broke the back window and so they had it replaced and it's got a slider window in it now. Before it was just one piece of glass, so that's kind of cool. Um, I'm going to leave it with the fifth wheel hitch um, just because I don't want to deal with selling it. It's got the gooseneck ball also. Um, one thing about the, the tanks, I replaced the fuel filter on the, on the rail for the front tank, um, but the filter for the back tank is in the uh, gas tank. And so you would need to drop it and clean it out. It'll still run on the back tank, just not as well. So that's just one thing that I never got around to doing. That's my wife. There's just a little crack in the fiberglass, and she thought putting white duct tape on there would look good. a little fading on the the dually fenders but so it's cool on this side it has the whole running boards on, but on the other side I don't know if you saw it it's missing that one which is not a big deal Side. I'll just show you. I mean, it's got little, you know, little rust dingers. I mean, this just to show you a little, di little bit of rust there, a little dent there. I mean, for a 1997, this thing is like really decent. Missing the little knob for the headlights. I just use my fingers and pull it out. It's not a big deal. Never got around to getting another knob. The only thing in the interior is just this little, little crack here on the dash, and that's just from the sun from all those years. The cloth, everything's really good. Carpet's decent. Right there and right there, there's just a little wear on the things, but if you pull that down, it's 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 like new. So you don't have a lot of rips and tears. It doesn't look like it's a piece of crap. The carpet's, you know, decent. Just need to get some uh, mats or whatever. There's a little tear in the... And then there's just a little dinky tear right here. All right, let's... Um, oh, I forgot how many miles are on this. 127, 547 is the miles. Right. Okay, I bought this truck off a farm, and um, when I bought it, it had all this, this clay 
film all over the place and um, it looks way better now but it still you know has that residue I never totally clean the engine um, what I have done though the battery's fairly new alternators been done in within a year I've had the distributor all the wires redone the spark plugs in the last year it has had the water pump done the thermostat it's had a new radiator in the last two years but um, when I got it it had all this stuff and that's why I replaced the radiator originally but I think um, I might whoever buys it probably I would just replace the radiator again um, just to be safe Anyway, that's just my suggestion. Just because this stuff could be sitting in the bottom of the radiator and you don't know it. And there's no way to... I've, I've pulled it and flushed it and you don't know what's still in there. What else? Um, I just had the speed sensor replaced in the rear end and also the transmission. So it, it shifts like a dream now. When I bought it, it, sh it shifted really rough. And I never got around to replacing it. I just... You know, just put up with the, the way it was shifting. Now you you can't even feel it shifting into gear, which is really cool. Um, let's see. Oh, the uh, front front brake pads are brand new in the last two weeks, and the front right caliper is replaced. Um, like I said, the tires are like brand new. They got a lot of tread still on them. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, the AC works. Blows cold. It's got an aftermarket stereo in it. Cruise works. Power windows work. Um, I think the back windows don't work on the power, power windows, or one of them doesn't work. It could be that window. I, I didn't really care. So I just, the front windows go down with power and stuff, so... Here's the, just the, some controls on the front here. And here's the, the tag if you need to see it. 1997. And that's it.